Hello, welcome back again. So today in this lesson we're going to look at funk and you might have noticed that I was using a wah-wah pedal then and what that is is a pedal on the floor and you rock it backwards and forwards and it creates this sound that goes wah 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 wah. <laughs> Now you don't need a wah wah pedal to play funky stuff, you can do it with just a normal clean sound and that's fine. I think you get the idea and generally speaking the idea with funk um, it's all about the rhythm and and usually it's quite cheeky sounding the notes are quite short and sharp and the specific technique that I'm going to teach you today on the guitar is to how to play dead notes or muted notes and what it is let me just explain this a little bit better um, when we're playing funk often the riffs are quite simple but it's not just the notes that we play it's also the in-between notes that, that make up the rhythm. So for example, a riff uh, might go like this. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll notice that I'm playing the notes that sounds like this, and then I'm going, and then I'm playing another note, and then playing another note. So when you join it together, it sounds like this. Okay, so it's those little clicks in between that, um, that are so important to the rhythm of funk, but a lot of people don't realise that they're in there. They're called passing notes, or dead notes, or, or, you know, or clicks, or you can call them whatever you want really, but the point is, that here's the point, if you just played the proper notes on their own, it wouldn't have the same effect, because if I played it like this... <laughs> That's without the clicks. Now if I put the clicks in... Okay, I think you understand what I'm talking about. So let me explain how to do these clicks. Um, the first note I'm going to ask you to play, I'm just going to give you a little uh, example, uh, a little exercise to work on so you can practice this. So the fourth string at fret 7. Now, the first thing to realise is that when you hold down a note on the guitar the note sustains for as long as you hold the note down but as soon as you lift the pressure from the string the note stops and you can see the moment that I lifted my finger up I'll do it again okay now I'm not taking my finger totally away from the guitar all I'm doing is lifting the pressure so the finger is still touching the string but it's not holding the note down and a result you know it, it stops the note it mutes it so what you can practice doing is doing long notes where you're just holding your finger down. Then you can do notes where you stop it each time, like this. And then if you want to practice further, you can practice doing really short, sharp notes by just holding the string down for a millisecond. And you can see I'm pressing the string down at the exact same second that I pluck the string, and then I immediately release the pressure and I'm only holding it down for a split second long enough to get a short note like that, okay? So I think you understand what I'm talking about now. So the next thing I want to explain is how to do these um, dead notes, these clicks, these muted notes, okay? And it's quite simple, really. Um, all I'm doing is touching the string and plucking, plucking the string and then we get that muted dead sound. So what I suggest you do to begin practicing this is to play one note normally and then lift the pressure so you're just touching the string, not holding it down and give it a pluck and you can do it alternately like this. Okay, now you can build it up. Perhaps try playing the note and then two clicks. And if you want to take it one step further, what I suggest you do is use the plectrum to pluck down on the note and then down and then up on the second click. So if you watch my right hand carefully, you'll see me plucking down and then down up. Okay? So what that means is when we speed it up, it'll sound like this.
okay I, I hope that makes sense so now you should um, totally understand what I'm on about when I talk about dead notes now let me give you an example of you know me doing a bit of improvising and you can watch my right hand and you can watch my fingers and you can see where I'm playing uh, proper notes or dead notes so um, have a listen <laughs> Okay, I hope that was a good enough example. Um, now, of course, at this stage, you already know a few scales. You know the blues scale, you know the minor scale. So what you can do, if you want to take this upon yourself, to go away and practice improvising and using those scales um, and combining it with the technique I just showed you, that little funk rhythm, and to create a funky little improvisation like I just showed you. Now, also, I want you to remember that the next lesson, the last lesson in this e-course, I'm going to really teach you how to improvise okay and I'll explain exactly what that means you know how to make up solos as you go along so you've got that to come as yet but you know if you want to jump ahead of yourself and go and start creating stuff then brilliant that's absolutely fine so let me finish up here by giving you a specific rhythm to practice <laughs> so you're going to pluck the fourth string at fret seven once and then you're going to play the muted note down up down up like that that should be simple enough for you and then you're going to play fret five normally and then back to fret seven normal okay so when we join that together we've got okay I hope that makes sense let me play it at full speed so you can really get a feel for the full funky energy Okay, I think you get the idea. So I want you to practice that rhythm that I just showed you. Practice the clicks, practice the mutes, and do everything I told you in this lesson. You know, do the long notes, the medium notes, the short notes, and really get used to, um, you know, holding and releasing the pressure from the notes. Um, if you need to, watch this video several times, you know, so it makes perfect sense in your mind. Okay, now you're building up a whole skill set here. We've done so much stuff so far in this free course. Um, it really is quite exciting. and. Remember, Remember, like I said, there's one more lesson to come as yet. It's the final lesson. I'm going to teach you how to improvise. So that really is a big part. That's an important lesson. So 